Okay, so it's not wanting to visit us during this particular reading. That's all right. We have one that does. Interesting. I've turned all of them over. I sort of want to get a glance at, at them all. So we have the Three of Wands. We have the Seven of Cups, the Strength card, and the Six of Pentacles. So you have all of the suits except for the swords. And then you have the Strength, the Major Arcana. Okay, so let's talk about this. What I see going on for you all is you are open for expansion. And this is this would represent the fire sign. So this is you, Sagittarius. This, every time I start talking about you all, this, this crystal, this one right here, I'm going to put it in its nice little green box. It's in there. And um, <laughs> look into my other one in a minute. That's so interesting. Okay. So this is the three of wands. This, like I said, represents our fire, our passion, the fire signs. Um, expansion, growth. You've seen some success and you want to see more of it. More is coming. You're, you're planning it. Uh, the two of wands would be, hmm, what do I do? How do I plan this out? The three is like, okay, my ships are, do you see these tiny little ships right here? My ships have gone out to, uh, let's just say Japan before with Japan with, um, with goods and services and all of that, and it's brought me back money. So I'm going to send them out again because I want to expand my horizons. And so he has us back to us. He hasn't completed this journey. There's more to be done. And, you know, this is not without the help of other people, Sagittarius. Even those of you who like to do things on your own, which I think most Sagittarians love, you know, other people. Um, but those of you who have liked to do things on your own, you still had help some regard, some way, even if you've, it's a, you know, a person you're in the physical or you've read some on the internet or Googled other people that have been successful. Not without that. So you are in the planning stages. You know, however, there's interesting, it's like the Seven of Cups is saying, Yes, but there's so many different opportunities. Which one should I choose? Well, one way to choose is stay grounded because this can feel like La La Land. You know, this feels like, oh my gosh, here's a wreath in this cup and here's a you know nice person in this cup and, and we have candies and all. And, and it could be opportunities that look, some of them, that look more enticing than they really are. So again, this can feel like it's you're a little bit dreamy. And the cups represent what we love. So again, stay grounded because I think this is going to bring you some more opportunities that you're going to have to decide <laughs> what it is you what specifically you want. Okay. And then under this is the six of of pentacles and of course this is about our money this is the generosity card and I love how there's six here and there's seven here and it's showing I don't know it just feels like these two connect um, the generosity card under the seven of pentacles and this is about someone who's generous with their time their energy possibly probably their money uh, but just giving to other people. It might be, you know, one scenario for some of you Sagittarius. Now remember, this is for Sagittarius sun, moon, and rising. Watch your rising and our moon sign if these messages don't make sense. And remember, every reading you see, we don't just have a one flavor life. So we have different things going on in life. This cards I pulled are what's are some of the things that are going on for some of you. Okay, so this could mean that whatever you choose, choose what is of service to you and of service to other and that others, and that you feel like you're not being generous in a way that you're giving away everything, but where there's you know it's reciprocal, a like giving and a receiving. And that possibly your service 
or what you do is really helping those that are uh, needing it, whether it's counseling, therapy, uh, donations. I mean, my gosh, every service we have in the world, every company we have in the world, somehow, some way, if we build furniture, if we make, um, I don't know why this came into my machetes, which please don't, but anything that we do in the world, it usually serves other people. So what is it around one of these cups that you can serve the best is what I would say. This, this strength card here is obviously, that's what the universe is saying, is I want to give you the strength to pull through your plans, to um, to detail them out. Mars is in retrograde right now. Mercury is going to retro into retrograde at the end of this month. I think Neptune is too. So this is a little Neptune-ish type of card. Neptune is sort of like we're dreamy. You know, it, it, it um, represents the sign of Pisces. You know, very intuitive. So you'll have a little bit of that going on. But I think the universe is grounding you more, and I feel like these two cards are more grounding for you. So this is giving you strength to carry on to what's important in your life, Sagittarius. Let's, and I'll look in this, uh, <laughs> the one that was not rolling off on the floor. I'm, I'm really trying to discern what that means as far as that quartz wanting to move while we're talking about Sagittarius. But in the meantime, I'll look into my crystal and see what messages come up for you all. From mid-July through mid-August. Let's see. Okay, so there's there's a visual in okay, there's a visual inside of a visual. So there's one, two, three people that I can see, and then in front of them there's there's more people. This is almost like um what came to me is the walk in Spain. Oh my gosh, it's it's not coming to me. So someone will put this in the comments. What is it, the long walk on Spain that's very meditative? It takes, it can take a month, either a month, or you can go the longer or shorter one, I believe. Uh, that's on my bucket list. And it's the feeling of gaining spiritual awareness, I guess is what I'm trying to say to you. So What is that walk in Spain? Someone please put that in the comments below or I'll, you know, I'll Google it. Um, or you can Google it. And, and, you know, it might be a good thing for you to do that and just see if it, see if it resonates. Um, lots of colors, lots of blue. So throat chakra is important. Uh, green's been coming up a lot. That's, of course, the heart chakra. So speaking from your heart, take care of your throat, too. You know, I know there's summer colds right now. And I'm feeling like some of you, um, it may not only be that you have a kind of a croaky voice or have had a cold or a sore throat, but it may be, I don't know if it's thyroid. It could be a number of things in the throat area. I'm just saying, for for some of you, for very few of you, but it, it will mean something to you, for some of you. Uh, let's see if we have a totem animal. Well, this guy continues to come up. I'm not getting a totem animal, but it's, this particular series, I'm getting totem people. <laughs> so this guy represents someone who really stands their ground. I'm seeing it's like a man and he has a, gosh, the last guy was physically looked the same, but he wasn't holding the same item. So interesting. But he's, it's like he's holding a, um, it's sort of a staff or a, a cane or a stick, not a cane, but a stick. And he's really standing his ground. So I think some of you Sagittarians, you know, this would be like, um, you want to make a move in a certain direction on your business and other people are saying, I don't know, I wouldn't do that. But if it's in your, if it's in your heart and you're feeling it intuitively, um, you know, that's what this is about. Then it just kind of feels like 
there's some people to listen to, but there's some people in your life that um, you're not going to listen to their opinion. <laughs> so she was just like, nope, I know what I want to do. So, you know, and the thing to do then is if you know in your heart what you want to do, then then we, we don't ignore, but we just have to keep moving on what we want. To accomplish okay so what is all this white seeing lots of white sort of crystalline white maybe like the selenite um, trying to gain some insight on that when I said selenite more people popped up okay let me just say this these people and this came up for another sign. I, th I think it was Gemini. But these people feel like to me, because they came up as white and not completely solid, but they felt like uh, loved ones or friends or someone who's passed over. So some of your, um, like I said, loved ones who are trying to give you messages or trying to help guide you during this time period. Yeah. That this is coming up big for you all. Yeah, they are saying that you will have some options. Um, and they're showing me a thumbs up. So I'm trying to figure uh, out what that means, or at least determine what that means. It's like you will know when you um, are in the right direction because the exact direction you want to be because you'll like, okay, you'll see this thumbs up or you'll get a thumbs up in yourself or you'll feel like, okay, this is it. This is the way to go. So I think that's what that thumbs up means. And it's not that some of you already don't have, you know, some of these things in place. This could have taken place. Some readers say that their, their spreads a year ago and that it's, you know, you're still in the process of, or this may be coming up for you. So I always advise, oh, and I'm going to look at this last card too. I always advise to watch these videos, you know, three or four weeks into them as well. So maybe first, second week of August to watch the video again and see if some of this makes sense. More so, oh my gosh, I'm glad I turned this over. Well, the sun card comes up. So the, you know, after the thunderstorms, the rain, the clouds, the all of that, torrential rains it feels like, then the sun comes out and the sun is positivity, happiness, joy, creativity. Um, good sign for you all for the, this clarification and or foundation card. You know, it has children in it, it has sunflowers, the white horse, 